Welcome everybody. This is Night Saber Z42, and I'm back with episode 2 for Shadowgate. In the last episode, we kind of just got started, kind of went through some of the uh, tutorial stuff. Uh, I explained some of the things of how, or I explained some of the concepts of how things work in Shadowgate and all that. And I actually found something that I haven't done um, when I uh, previously played my first time played with the spell in the last episode and I'm actually gonna go down here and see hopefully I don't die after several moments of straining he realized that the hatch will not close wait what I wanted to close it I want to go down it go to hatch actually before that let's uh do the quick save thing you lean in close, anxious to look inside the open hatch. The stone compartment harbors a strange mechanism, one comprised of levers, rods, and gears. So I'm pretty sure if I pull something, I'm gonna die. You pull the lever down. You pull on the lever, but it's stuck in place. So that's stuck in place. You yank on the lever, pulling it down. You depress the button, but nothing happens. A piece of mechanism appears to be missing. Okay, so I need a gear. And we'll explore further. Okay. So we can either, we have two options. We can go back here, or we can go inside this area. And I don't want to go in here yet, because I know what's waiting. I actually did get to go through there. Uh, we went through here, the sprite passage, the last time, and it was all in ice. And there's a like a ele ice elemental waiting there, but we need an orb to go through it. So let's go through the middle one. Okay. In certain difficulty modes, only commands pertinent to the selected object will appear on the wheel. However, commands that do not appear on the wheel can still be performed by key bindings. You can view and set key binds in the options menu. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take those torches. Oh crap, 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 crap. Oh man. You yank on the torch, pulling it downwards. You hear a mechanism release and then a rumbling beneath you. You jump back as a tomb in the center of the room slowly moves across the floor, revealing a stairway landing down. Oh man. I totally didn't want that. Can I still have the torch? It pivots upwards. Okay, no, I cannot. Uh, can I take that torch? Press relief carved in the tomb is of an ancient figure brandishing a sword. Oh, don't open, please. An indistinct yet noble looking warrior has been carved into the sarcophagus. A cowled, shadowy figure is carved into the lid of this crypt and looks like a king. The likeness of a regal figure has been engraved on the lid of this tomb. What about this one? Look into it. Okay, so that would have told us anyways that there's something going on with this. Uh, I guess the only time we want to use that object is simply press the number key on the sign to that object and then click the object you want to use it on. So let's give that a try. Uh, poop. So let's say if I want to use torch. Here we go. Number one. Sword. Oh, um, York, what can you tell me about this room? Wizards used to say that mirrors were portals to other places. They were probably talking about magic, but sometimes it was literally true, too. I've known them to hide doors behind mirrors like this. Okay, let's take torches. Oh, I didn't want to use it. Okay, take it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Take it. Take it. So I got some debris here on the floor. I have two. Oh wait, I can use this. What's this? This large boulder has veins of quartz running through it. Finding a handhold, you attempt to lift the rock. You feel something move, but unfortunately, it's in your back. Okay, there's also this. Large rock sits squarely on the floor. The large boulder has veins, of course, running through it, so I can't use this. You attempt to move the rock, but are unable to get proper leverage. 
Nothing that you look nothing like when you started this adventure. What about this one? Okay, same thing. Same thing. You catch the movement behind your reflection. You jump in surprise before looking around the room. A faint warping effect moves across its surface. Oh, bloody hell, I'm getting out of here. This is too creepy. Actually, I wonder... From below. So, okay, I'm gonna have to be coming from below to come back here. So, I think I need to do something with those boulders and then the mirrors. So, there's nothing else that I think that we can do here. So, let's go to the left passage. Wait, haven't I already been to the left passage? Yeah, my bad. We always go left first. So, I haven't, actually haven't been to the right. Somebody messaged me on Facebook. Somebody commented on my status. Okay, within a large cavern, you find yourself on the shore of Placid Underground Lake. Oh, sweet. I'm gonna take a guess that this spell isn't gonna do anything. Let's find out. But, uh, there's little else. Cool. So that's one spell. How about Invoken? Can we use this spell? There's little else. Okay. So we can't do anything else. And I'm sure as hell not gonna step into that water. Yeah, let me take a look at that. You sense something large and ominous deep below the surface of this. Yeah, hell no. Uh, quick save. And let's continue on. A magnificent waterfall cascades from the mouth of an ancient stone statue painstakingly carved into the cavern wall. Below it, an undulating mass of water hovers playfully above the river. What's this? Another elemental? We need a look. Hovering before you is an entity enti made entirely of water and mist. The liquid elemental continuously forms and reforms in a hypnotic way. You've heard of a magical orb that can capture creatures like this, so there's nothing else that I can do here, but I'm going to look at this. Having cut a deep furrow into the rock of this cavern, an underground river rushes past you and into a large crevasse. Okay. Anything else that I can look at? I see there's that dwarven symbol again. The marking looks like a dwarven craftsman soup. Okay. So nothing here. Um, is that water? The river runs swiftly to your right and through a large opening in the cave. Okay, so this goes back... So I need to stop the waterfall so I can go into the opening behind. This is what I'm getting at. Okay, so this goes, this river goes out into this area right here. So if I had any way to freeze this, I can get to the skeleton and then do something else. So there's nothing I can do here. So from what I'm getting, there's nothing I can do in any of these rooms. Okay. Okay. Can't. Okay, so nothing with the skeleton that I can do. Actually, you know what? Okay. <laughs> Had to try. Had to try. Okay, I'm still not touching that. So the only thing left to do is go through this passage right here. Okay. You force yourself through the narrow opening and into the darkness beyond. A figure moves within the opening at the back of the grotto. He doesn't seem to pose any risk to you. If you saw those eyes flashing in the back. And I can look. You sense a furtive movement within the darkness of the opening. Something or someone is definitely up there. And I don't think you can go up there. But I can pick these skulls up. The arrow in your satchel. So now we have an arrow. Oh, I got a bow and arrow as well. I got a... Wait, what? I want that. What? Is that really not a bow that I can take? What if I... Imitating your favorite nursery rhyme, you jump back and forth over the campfire several times. Mushrooms! I dreamt of mushrooms! Does that mean anything? Okay, so no. What if I look to the fire? The hit lighter move of the campfire momentarily memorizes you until a loud pop brings you back to your senses. So no. So, uh, I can't do anything with the skulls. 
can't take them. I can't believe that almost looks like a bow right there. I can't believe that's not something. I can go here. I can look. Going to go ahead and do that since that's the only area we can go through. There's a rickety bridge. Hmm. You stand at the edge of a lava-filled chasm. Impossible as it seems, the faint, terrified screams of some unfortunate soul echo from within its depths. Okay, let's take a look at what we can do. I see three things. I can look at this. The carving of this keystone is of a circle within a shield outline. Strange writings cover the stone. You think you recognize the name Majal. Amongst the hard to decipher language. And is it the same on this one? This half buried carved stone appears to be a keystone. Can I use it? I tend to lift the large stone, but it proves too heavy. Can I do anything with this? Okay, same thing. What about this? Let's look at it. This metal brazier has a wide bowl mounted on a tripod. The legs look like a series of inverted hooks poorly welded together. And of course, I can't use it. You grab the legs of the metal stand, attempting to pull them apart. You are... They are welded to the bowl of the legs. Hey. You put the hook into your satchel. So now I have a hook that I can probably fashion if I had rope. So I'm going to be on the lookout for rope now. Okay, what's this do? Peering over the edge of the chasm, you nearly lose your balance. A blast of warm air greets you. The faint cry from some unknown creature close on its tail. So is that... Okay, so I wasn't able to look at that... That skull thing. The rickety bridge is held together with nothing but frayed rope and rotting wood planks. As if in warning, a mounted skull stands in front of... It. Hmm. Sorry about that delayed pause. I was actually looking at something. Okay, so this is just a warning. Can I use my dirk on it? What you expected hasn't happened. The dirk didn't not do anything to the chasm. Spend a few moments hacking away at the posts and planks with the dirk. Nothing really comes of it. So I can't get the rope. Sad. Let's look at the bridge. Judging by the workmanship, this stone bridge seems quite sturdy. Seems is the big keyword. What else can we do? We can go inside. So I'm gonna quick save here. Quick save here and move forward. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? A dense fog greets you as a stone passage opens into a small chamber. The temperature plummets as a creature materializes in front of you. As you approach the wraith, its body turns to vapor. A heartbeat later, the thing's body reforms and the temperature drops a few more degrees. This may be more difficult than you thought. Yorick clatters his teeth. It sure did get cold in here. Cold and dark. So you know what I'm gonna do? Use the torch on this. The torch failed to do anything constructive to the torch. Really? The torch didn't light the damn torch? So, okay. You're... okay. So, even though you've never seen one before, you know this is a shadow wraith, a being that walks the line between life and death, between light and shadow, and yet somehow, using a torch didn't do anything at all. My bad. I was definitely using the wrong thing. Shh. Is that the torch ignites bursting into flames? Cold, cold, and dark. Yes, I know. Torch on that. Catch a flame. Is tortured moan hanging as to the wall, glowing with power. Truly, this must have belonged to one of the wizards of the circle. And I see there's something right here. I'm going to look at that as well. You see part of a large orange object hidden just inside the archway. I'm scared to death to actually touch it. I'm going to save. And then I'm going to touch it. 
As you grasp the large orange thing, it becomes painfully clear that it's a pumpkin. Freaking awesome. But I'm probably gonna need to use it as like a weight or something. Okay, let's look at the door. The solid door is carved with a, with strange designs and ornate filigree on the sigil. Can I open the door? I can! With a quick protest, the door opens. Let's go inside. Be a sewer or reservoir system for the castle, mold, mildew, and moss. Bespeckle the stones within this chamber. Hey, I know where this hatch leads. I'm gonna take this first. And then I'm going to read it. As you read the scroll, one particular word stands out from the rest. In trays. In your mind's eye, you see the gl glyph glowing with power as you write the down the strange marking in your spell book. The scroll crumbles in your hand. You have learned a spell. Awesome. That is actually really cool. Can I actually unlock this? Yes, I can. And I know just where this goes to. Or at least I suspect. Let's go ahead and find out. I was right. You jump and manage to find a handhold within the hatchway. After a frantic moment or two, you manage to pull yourself through. The room reminds you of the Elven Funhouse at King's Auto, King Otto's Fair. You remember taking your sister, hoping to lose her in the reflective maze. Hey, a bit of backstory about our character. It's really cool. Um, I have what is this? An arrow? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and use this on the rocks. Okay, that didn't do anything. Can I use the hook on this pile of rocks? Because this pile is different. No. Can I use... this. Can I use the arrow? Okay, so no. I will come back later then. But what I would like to do, with the exception of annoying headache, nothing else resulted from your spell. Okay, that is actually rather disappointing. There's no use in doing that. I wonder if I can use it on a mirror. I think way forward was it. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Let's use this on this mirror. Okay, so nothing there. I might be able to use the, the other spell. Does little nothing. Okay, so let's use the Agap spell. Agap spell. Okay, let's do else. How about the Agap spell on this? Wait, what? I didn't want to use it on that. I want to use it on the rock. Okay, so nothing happens there. So, let's go back down here. Let's look at the water. The opening. Okay, let's look. The water barely covers the sandy floor of the sewer. Let's take a look at that. The ring you wrinkle your nose, it's gonna look from this grate. The scurrying sounds can be heard coming from beyond the gate. You shake the iron grate, nothing appears to set it loose. Okay, so can I go in here? You slash around in the ankle deep water, careful not to make too much noise. And I'm gonna use the entry spell in this room. Okay. So nothing else happens. Okay, so it looks like I got my first puzzle to solve. Okay. And yeah. How very interesting. I might actually do uh I might do another separate playthrough on this side just to see if I can get this moving moving along and if I can find something then I will be sure to go ahead and pick up and move along so 
that's gonna be it for this episode thank you guys so much for watching feel free to leave a comment down below tell me what you think and subscribe to my channel and give this channel some love please i will see you guys in the next video